hell of adventure is it today? We're in Southport. So we've just crossed Marina Lake and we're now going for a little walk in the little park area next to it. Yeah, it looks like it was set on fire at some point. Lovely. It's kind of missing its roof. It's all burnt. <laughs> yeah, it's all on the floor. Now we do apologise that we've not really been doing many videos lately but the weather in the UK has been absolutely terrible. It's just raining every single day. And then unfortunately on the days where I work, the weather's really nice. I'm just hoping that the weather gets better. That'd be in October. <laughs> yeah. The safe port pleasure reach or whatever they call it. Pleasure land. Pleasure land, whatever. Actually, we'll have a walk past it. We did buy a new microphone for this camera as well to combat the wind. But one buys equipment to record with and then forgets to bring it out. So I do apologise if the audio quality is a bit rubbish. Like that, for example. Flying safe for winter. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of birds and ducks been like flying in a formation. Because it's winter here all the time. Yeah, we're not as lucky as like the Americas. Well, that's my car getting dirty now, people. But as long as he's happy. Yeah, that's one dirty, wet puppy. <laughs> wet dog. The big wheel. Alpine Village Ball. And apparently according to the sign you can only purchase you can only consume alcohol that you've purchased on the site. Looks like they've demolished something here. Oh it does that what theme perks do all the time. Smash and it, and it, and it always and it always smells like sewage. Yeah, because over there, I'm sure there used to be a building over there. Is it maybe the old entrance? Well, now this seems to be the new entrance. It seems kind of eerie when it's closed. Sean spotted in memory of the land of the is it Wardsley? Yeah, that's pronounced it. Members of the Southport Strategy Seaport Temperance Society 1839. It's because it's on this marbly stuff, and usually it's in. Storm that it's not that one. Mm. I never really knew this room in it. Lovely drinking water. But well, actually, technically, that's what it would have been years ago. Oh, I correct myself, it's 1859. I had to actually physically touch it <laughs> to see if there was a line there. Helter Skelter. That's that train, isn't it? Of course, train track. 
follow the yellow brick road? It's some sort of train. You know, I was going to say, is it a road? So I walk through this way and then walk back around to actually Marina Lake. Quite a lot has changed around here since we last came. Oh look doggy, there's actually a water boulder. But you can't get to it. It's fine, I knew it's been drinking all big with ponds. Yeah. This ladies and gentlemen is a bit of a scummy doggy because he'd rather not have fresh water. He likes drinking like mouldy, nasty water off the ground. Most dogs do, that's what I put it. That's why people don't let them pet me. Mm, well, yeah. There's a walkway that takes you to the Adventure Golf, I think. I think that used to be the main entrance over there. Well, they've called it Valhalla. Oh. Which, I don't think it's copyrighted by the Pleasure Beach, but one of their rides is called Valhalla. Then there's a Splash World water park just behind there. Half the signs missing. It's kind of like a um, sandcastle in Blackpool. The slides. It's bloody windy and cold. Yeah, it is. And I didn't bring my coal. <laughs> yeah, he left his coat in the car. <clears throat> and my other jacket, which is a bit thinner than this, so this is quite a thick one. I left my jacket in my boss's car. I only left it in, in the car because I thought with it being sunny it was going to be warm. Since it's meant to be spring right now, and clearly it's not spring, it's winter. Well, it feels like that anyway. Jesus Christ, I can't even feel my fingers on that hand, and I'm not actually taking the pick and being deadly serious like bad as that. It's meant to be spring. Jesus Christ. Lee, give me a coat. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of sad how people actually don't play that anymore. What? Bowls. I don't think they do, no. I don't see them. It's normally every Sunday, isn't it, Bob? I've seen them for about a long time. You don't think, though, that generation will have gotten older where they'll struggle to play it, and then you've got our generation where they won't bother, same as church, and unfortunately, sorry, people do believe in that stuff. And then it'll just die out, unfortunately. <clears throat> so it says that the bowling green is maintained by volunteers from the Southport Bowling Club. Well, unfortunately it doesn't look like it's been maintained. There's daisies and weeds and... Can't really pick it up on camera that much, but there's... Quite a lot of... Well... Weeds and stuff. Nice place to actually have a picnic or something, I guess. There's quite a lot of seating. Well, the other one's been maintained. Yeah, they one in the distance over there. That's quite better. This might be a backup one, this. And then you get the nice um, skyline of Pleasureland. There's just like dog poo all over the car. Yeah, my, 
barely sniffing it people but it's got grass in it or hay or something so it's more like a horse yeah <laughs> that's got to be a, a small horse at that <laughs> a pony poo yeah one of those little ponies yeah <laughs> well, well there's another hyperactive dog up ahead oh you might have a friend oh or not oh it's a little puppy people little puppy it's, it's going he's a little puppy is it friendly yeah way too friendly hurry doggy <laughs> That's a small horse. So this is Marina Lake. Wow, look how clean it looks. Do you want to know why it's that colour? It's diafix. Oh look. Two little geese. It's usually to kill anything off in it, give it that nice portion of blue effect, and it's got plants underneath growing when the sunlight hits because it can't penetrate through the diapix. So a geese we don't have now. So that's my bit of lesson for you people. <laughs> oh, the latest. There's, there's all swans over there. People usually say to us we're mad because we feed them because they actually eat out of our hands, same as pigeons have done. But them things when they get some of them get aggressive don't they yeah it feels like they're almost trying to pull your finger off <laughs> we usually generate a, um, a crowd of swans and geese oh yeah they knew us last year they, they, they would be on the other side of the lake and they'd come over because <laughs> they'd usually bring my um, trolley and then we oh, get a big bag of seeds yeah a big bag of seeds same size as it dump it in there and then Throw the seed as we're like walking along. Oh, um, there you've got them little I mean, boats. The worst we ever had it was once. It was just literally right on the other side, weren't it? Of their people, just on opposite side where you just showed you. Like, and uh, what did we have? We had Canadian geese, Portuguese geese. <laughs> we had swans. We had pigeons. We had ducks. Jesus. We had um, babies as well, didn't we? And everything, it was ridiculous. Yeah, we even managed to get ducks feeding out of our hand as well. Getting swarmed by them all. Couldn't even move. I was bothered about standing in loads of um, well, poo. £20 per boat for 30 minutes. That used to be 15 quid. But do you know what? The problem, I know like, there's a thing with inflation, but I don't know. Does a boat really, would that boat be really affected by inflation? It's just a boat that's on a, a lake. I can't see anything going in the, going up in cost in that, other than like maintaining the boats and lake. I don't know. But it's like with um, eggs, for example. Eggs have shot up in price, but Unfortunately, the hens it does, don't they? Every year, as soon as April comes, taxes will go up, other stuff will go up. So then, obviously, people then to try and survive, or put wages up on stuff. That's how, unfortunately, life works. Well, it does in our country anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know about it anywhere else. I highly doubt it with America because they, they don't have taxes, do they? But I was saying, like the hens, are hens expected to like? become fussy eaters and not produce eggs if they're not being given a better grain diet. Is that why the price of eggs go up? Or is it just, they're just following suit with everything else? Because one, one company or thing puts the price up and then everyone seems to do it. I think that's why I'm actually glad I live in this country with, with uh, having taxes. I mean, I know they don't um, fix anything in this country, or help the workers out but it's uh, good for um, people like me who have a terminal health uh, illness where it would cost me a lot of money in America and if you don't have it well you obviously know the um, outcome of that and obviously I've, when I was speaking to someone that, um, 
they said, yeah, they lost someone from America, but we found out the system and come back. Me, it couldn't afford it. I couldn't keep doing it all the time. So, that's what I mean. Sometimes it's not a good thing, sometimes it's a good thing. It just depends, really. Oops, sorry. And the thing with me, it's like, if you're from the UK, you'll possibly notice the amount of potholes that are in the road. And it's like, I'm pretty sure road tax is maybe going up. But road tax, not even maintaining the road. And also cars having to get MOT, which if you're not from the UK, an MOT is to make sure that your car is actually safe to drive on the road. But in this case, is the road safe for the car? No, it's not. Because you smash over the um, potholes and then your car's unsafe. Yeah. And you damage your car and you have to get it fixed and you think they should be fixing it and pay for it. But no. Well, that's him drinking crap pee people. <laughs> yeah, now if you look at this, the drain is that blocked, it's not even, the water's not even going down it. And this is also the reason why, why do we pay water rates? Because the sewers are that blocked. That it causes flooding. We, we just physically line the people who have the power, who are on top, to line the pocket so they can do what they want when they want as long as they're safe and then people like us have to suffer yeah because well, whatever we're paying for like in terms of like council tax and services i'd like to know where all that money is going because what i'm looking at here it's definitely not going towards any of this stuff because yeah, they don't even maintain um like the, the paths or parks or anything so well some they do but not all of them the one that back of us jesus it's wow yeah now yeah the park near us was supposed to have had well i think it's on its second cash injection which still hasn't been carried out yet oh look who's coming towards us here oh our swan friends. Well, unfortunately, swans, we don't have nothing to do. Because... I've got a dog eating it all the time. Or we don't, we don't usually... Eating it, won't you? We don't usually come on a Sunday. Because I've never usually got a Sunday off. <laughs> oh, look, we're attracting attention, but we've not got nothing. There was um, one place where... Um, where was it now? Ha Haslam Park? Oh yeah, Haslam Park yeah. in Preston. Yeah, because it was so low, the, 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 sw <laughs> the swans are coming over. He's wanting to play with them, innit? Uh, and they were going... <laughs> yeah, they were hissing. And <laughs> oh, that's all ruffled, isn't it? Yeah. That's usually once again, like, when he's trying to show his boss. He's angry. It's all right, calm down. I know it's not a lovely day, like, but you don't need to get stressed out about it. <laughs> not unless it's me dog you're bothered about, then you can have him if you want. <laughs> I know we had one that was like the the, the, the boss type one, weren't it? The, um, was it last year or the year before? And it used to come off, didn't it? And as soon as it did, everything else would just like it. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, it's not being me, just be friendly and sure. And then we used to have, um, what did we used to call that swan? We used to call, um, what did we used to call it now? Are you on about a swan or a, 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 a goose? God no, always when like... <laughs> oh, the, yeah, you mean um, it, it was the Canadian goose, it's the one I call Machine Gun Kelly. Oh yeah, that's it, Machine Gun Kelly, that's it. Yeah, because the, the noise that it makes sounds like a machine gun. When it goes... <laughs> Unfortunately, this has been blocked off for quite a while, this bridge. 
turned off from last time, were they? Um, I don't know. I don't know why they've blocked it off. But that's the main bridge that goes over to the pier. Yeah, it was. It was open uh, last year, year before, because we'd come and it was on. It was actually on a Saturday, and you went, "Oh my God, I can't believe it's open." So I said, "It must it must have been weekends. It's open, so it could be open now, mate." Picture. There's a skate park over there, and then in between the railway line. Doesn't it just look nice enough to jump and swim in? Where you're going? <laughs> then you've got full land over there. Felix is sexually cool. Yeah, okay, keep telling yourself that. Hmm, well, okay. <laughs> Whoever you are, Felix. that heavy actually sands on that and buckled it. I don't know, is it not meant to be like that? That's quite funny. There's a duck fighting amongst the way. I'd probably be scared of it. It's the water. I don't think he likes it anymore when he when he when he dived into the canal that time. Not a Oh there's a duck over there. By the way, he was only I think what was it five months so obviously probably didn't have a clue what he was doing, he probably thought it was solid ground that jumped in. <laughs> there's a duck chilling out and a duck on watch. They seem probably walk with that in a second. Oh no, they're all probably supposed to be like that, that one's buckled as well. <laughs> yeah. Or unless, or unless the amount of people that have been sitting on it has just buckled it naturally. Because there's no support under it. But yeah, if you have a dog, it's actually quite nice to actually walk around this marina lake. It goes on for miles. If you've got any kids, there is, um, well, we, we, we will be going actually past the pets at home. So we can show you where the pets at home is, so you can actually get some bird feed. I don't know what the heck that was. It's, a, it's one of those barriers. I was going to say. Come on, Sefton Council, get your get your marina lake cleaned up like this as well. Now we are coming to the actual seafront at this part. It's not really much of a sea front anymore, is it? It's not got like the beach or the sea, it's just a bug pit. Oh, yeah. Well, there was a quite a bit of wildlife there last time. Yeah, but that's alright for them. Hiss, hissing geeses. Or hissing geese. Couple of swans over here. There's a nice little sh um, boat monument there. So this is a type of wildlife you can find here. Golden eye. Mute swan.
<laughs> Unfortunately, it didn't go anywhere. <laughs> That's because it's crashed, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah! Can't tell if it's because it's hitting something while me and it's making that noise. It's probably when it passes in between like the two, um, yeah. like the rope. Yeah. The graveyard of ships. Yeah. Shipwreck. Well, I shouldn't say that actually because there is a graveyard of ships, so I apologise. It's a graveyard of boats. Boat wreck. What the heck? Where what? I actually thought that was macaroni and cheese. Yeah, and don't even dare eat it, dog. It's a bit trashy down here, though. Yeah, but it's still at the retail you know, you know, you know. That's the peep. Oh, Unfortunately, the peep is mainly always claws. Like I said, one Saturday, I'll be keeping them so open. But yeah, there's not much of a beach or sea here. The sea's like right out there. The Gilda Rose. Oh yeah, this place, it's a uh, packed uh, summer. Really, really good summer. I mean, we've come here today on a Sunday and it's the weather's really good. You come here in the summer, the summer like the kids and stuff, don't all that. It, isn't it packed? Yeah. Back, we used to play golf one more. Jesus. It's amazing. Let's come around here like this. So that's the bridge that we was at just before. So there's little retail parks on this side of that bridge. So you've got KFC, you've got a pub, you've got, that's new, Starbucks. Oh yeah. You've got McDonald's, Dunelm. You've got a plaza which has like um, a cinema. And there's a move further up here. Yeah, there's Matalan, Shoes On, Pound Stretcher, Pets at Home, Pizza Hut. So you can go to Pets at Home to get your um, seed for the ducks. Yeah, because that's what we usually do, don't we? So funny enough, that's what a lot of people actually do. That's what, that's what I think they do. You haven't seen it, but... That's what I think they do, because literally you've got the lake like right there, and then that's right there. So you got it right there. It's like, even though it's not cheap people, we used to go with it being them just over that way and took right a little bit. Well, that's only if you're getting little bags, but if you've got like um, a little like shopping trolley, you can actually get a big bag and it'll be a lot cheaper. Just dump it in the shopping trolley. And away you go. Yeah, because I tried it up to you get, you get, what was it? Cut, was it like kilogram more for the price that it would cost for the bag or something? Yeah, so for the price of the small bags, you get a couple of kilograms free. Yeah, so it was like more point getting the small bags. But yeah, pets at home is in the corner over there. Yeah, not a long. The pound, pound stretcher. Pound stretcher with the pet hut. But the problem is with that pet hut is it's not very, it's not as, well, pets at home is usually more expensive, but in this occasion it's better value for money. But they do say the higher volume of things that you get is usually better price. The good thing about pets at home is what they actually have um, drinks, outside. drinks for the dogs outside.
Yep, yeah, pets at home, you should refill your water. Yes, it's full. Okay. Take no, I don't think you're really thirsty, are you? No. No. You don't want it. There's more interesting going in the shop. Well, fair enough. Dirty doggy. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yep, he'd rather drink muddy, dirty water. That's why my dog is really strange. That'll be fresh, cool water, and he'd rather just take one little sip and think, nah. I don't like that. It's not got rat pee in it or <laughs> mud <laughs> or pigeon poo. <laughs> Well, yeah, that's pretty much Marina Lake in Southport. I mean, there is two other parks, like I said. I mean, I don't know if anyone really is interested in parks here, but obviously, uh, I mean, our view is not here, I mean, like. There is two other ones here, isn't there? There's Hesketh and then there's a one all the way down there to our right. Well, yeah, we will. It's really posh right there, and it looks it anyway. We will do a walkthrough of them. So at least it gets to show people what the actual park's like so they can decide for themselves whether to come or not. True. If you come here on holiday and they're here for a week, you might want to go see what it's like. Pass free, maybe. But as Sean says, there's a lot of um, places in Southport that are dog friendly, so you can bring the dog out for the day as well. Oh, we you in the high play. <laughs> oh no, what we're we gonna do? I'm living on the edge, I'm walking in the bike lane. Just living on the edge. I never noticed that, there's like little fishes engraved in that. Well, yeah. Touch it, Lee. It's like them Jurassic Park flyers, isn't it? Yeah. And there's a, there's a count and then next minute it goes off and then the kid goes boom. <laughs> So that is Marina Lake. Also, if you are enjoying the content, don't forget to give us a subscribe. Or a like. Yeah, and if you're feeling bold, like the video. I know we not, may not be the most of professional people, right? But we are trying. We are trying to be ourselves instead of trying to be... Something we're not. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And we're just trying to entertain you people. That's all we're really... But yeah, the next videos, especially in Southport, will be the town centre and the other parks. If we don't have screaming people behind us, that is. Unfortunately, that's what's going to happen today because it's a, a Saturday and a Sunday you're off. So you'll have all nutters out. <laughs> But yeah, we've managed to actually get one video done at least. We can go to other places. But I think the next uh, video in Southport will probably be the town centre. We did do one, as I think one of our first or second videos, but after reviewing the footage, we didn't really, we didn't really talk about much to do with the town centre. We were just rambling on about rubbish. <laughs> I think it's because it was our first video. Yeah, so we will be doing it again. I realised the Blackpool one was the second one. 
here. And the Preston one was a third one, which people seem to like. But I think our next video will be a Blackpool historical tour. So stay tuned for that one. And we'll see you later.